is having a speaking coach a cop-out? I'm asking you that because I recently had a coaching client share with me that there were people in her Toastmasters district, this is someone who's competing in the international speech contest, there was people who considered if you had a coach, it's not really your speech, it's not really your win. And that was interesting for me because it's easy to feel like that, to go, wow, if I can't do this by myself, is it really an achievement? But I want you to think about this. There is not an athlete in the world that has achieved what they've achieved without a coach. Not one Olympic athlete, not one world championship team that have achieved that without a coach. There's not an Oscar winning actor or actress, a Grammy winning singer who has not achieved that without a coach, without help, without support. So why do we think that when it comes to speaking, it is up to you to write, rewrite, rehearse by yourself and hope that you're gonna give your best speech ever? It's ludicrous to think that. And the reason I know that is because I was someone who thought I have to do it on my own for years. And it was only when I entered the World Championship in 2021 and wanted to see if I could win the World Championship that I realized I needed to walk that journey with a coach. Now, let me just explain. You don't have to pay for coaching from the start of a speaking journey. Of course not. But you do need some mentors that are in your corner. I had my sister, my husband, my brother-in-law. They were the, the people I was floating my ideas past. I was getting their feedback. And that was already helping me to rewrite and redefine my speech ideas. So it's really useful to have people you trust giving you feedback and be open to going, my first approach is not always going to be my best approach. But then... As you continue in, especially a contest journey, if you are at area going into division, hoping to get to district, that is the point that you need someone other than the people who know you well to look at your speech, look at your delivery and help you take it to the next level. In my case, just before district in 2021, I reached out to Lance Miller, the 2005 world champion, because I wanted to learn from someone who'd been where I was trying to go, who knew all the things that I needed to know in order to take my speech as far as I could take it. And Lance was incredible. He pushed me. He stretched me. He challenged me. It was not easy to be coached, but he took my stories from something I was quite close to to something I was really proud of because I was able to deliver them in a new and exciting way. And that's a coach's job. That's what they do on the field with an athlete. That's what they do with an actor on set. They push them from where they are to where they could be. And that is not a cop out. That's saying, I wanna take what I'm innately good at and I wanna move it from good to great. And I'm not gonna do it by myself. So. If you are competing, if you're wanting to take your speech to the next level, don't fall into the trap of thinking that it only is authentically you if you've done it completely by yourself. Know that all greatness you see in the world happens with support and reach out to the coach who's right for you. Obviously, I'd love you to choose me. You're welcome to go and visit my website, verityprice.com, see what I do. But more importantly, look for a coach who resonates with you, who's walked the journey to the world championships in a way that excites you, that you love the way they speak, and you go, this is someone I could learn from. And then make that investment in yourself. Make that investment in pushing yourself to become the best speaker you can be because it is not a cop-out to get coaching. In fact, it's an incredibly courageous choice to say, I want to go from good to great. And I know that is not a road I can walk alone. So I hope you choose the coach who's right for you. Please keep in touch, subscribe, keep seeing what I have to share of tips and tricks so that you can take your speaking from good to great.